Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're going to do the weekend forecast today, have a detailed look at weather uh, for the next seven days across the British Isles. Very uncertain once we get through to the middle of the week and beyond. There is uh, hints of colder weather trying to come in, but big divergences between the models this morning as to how cold, how wintry it gets. Uh, the cold could be over within just a few hours, or it could uh, extend out into weekend with a very cold, bitterly cold. Uh, easterly wind. So a lot of uncertainty from Wednesday onwards. Confidence in this forecast is very, very low uh, as a result uh, today. And I will run through the charts, but really from Wednesday onwards, take anything that you hear uh, with a pinch of salt. Now, before I get on with that, just to talk about the advertising. There's video ads on my page. It's at gasworthbiz.com. If you hit play on the video ad, uh, you'll be supporting gasworthbiz.com. Thanks very much for doing that. Uh, and the banner ads. I've got trying out some new banner ads uh, at the top of the page and in the box around the summary on my home page. Uh, you can click through those ads and go to the advertising website if you're interested in what is being displayed. Just something new that I'm uh, trying out uh, just for a few days. Uh, the websites that we're using for the week, week head forecast, we've got the radar picture from UK Metops, we've got charts from wetcentral.d and weatheroutlook.com. Uh, the link to all three of those websites can be found on my links page. So this is the radar picture for today. We've got heavy showery rain across the north and northwest of the country, uh, stretching out through Scotland into Northern Ireland, uh, just coming down into northwestern parts of England. That's going to move southwards uh, into parts of England and Wales uh, this afternoon. There'll be some heavy downpours uh, mixed in uh, with that. This is today's stock tip pressure chart. There's a the little trough coming through, bringing those showers. Uh, eventually, we're going to bring in uh, a little bit of a ridge overnight. That's going to be very transient. And there's the next area of low pressure in the mid-Atlantic uh, for Sunday. So for the rest of Saturday, we're going to follow that showery rain from the northwest, uh, moving further south and east, so coming into Wales, Midlands, Lincolnshire, East Anglia, through the course of the afternoon. Eventually, the rain will clear uh, across Scotland and Northern Ireland. Uh, could be some wintriness on the hills across the north as well. Uh, hail and thunder mixed in with some of those downpours as they push southwards and eastwards. But the far south probably actually getting away uh, with a mainly dry day and uh, some reasonable uh, bright or sunny spells. Though nowhere is in immune uh, from showers today. Temperature is very mild in the south. It has turned much milder up to 10 degrees, 50 Fahrenheit. But in the north, it's colder at around 3, 4 or 5 degrees. Now, overnight, we're going to build in that very weak transient ridge uh, for a time. But there's the next day of low pressure winding up in the Atlantic. And that's going to be eventually spreading very wet and windy conditions into Ireland, western Scotland and other western extremities of the UK uh, by the morning. Central, eastern parts of uh, England and Scotland may Mainly dry, once any early showers clear away uh, this evening, it will be quite a clear and dry night actually. I'm becoming quite chilly with temperatures possibly as low as uh, 1 or 2 degrees. That is low enough uh, for a fairly widespread ground frost, but we won't have a ground frost in the west because it will be turning wet and windy. So there's the very, very deep Atlantic storm sweeping in on uh, Sunday. Another horrendous looking chart in a series of uh, Atlantic storms, of course, that we've had uh, this winter. Hard to see the central pressure of that, but I think it's getting close to around uh, 950 millibars, uh, probably. A band of very wet and windy weather sweeping across the country through the course of Sunday. It's going to be a very, very wet and windy day. Uh, but will be risk of flooding because some places it could get up to 25 millimetres of rain, an inch of rain. Eventually, that uh, persistent rain is going to clear away to the east. And then we're going to find heavy showers uh, following uh, from the west. And those showers will be turning wintry across Scotland and Northern Ireland. Look how tight the the ice bars are. Severe gales again battering uh, western Scotland and Northern Ireland in particular, but all places uh, will be windy. Still quite mild in the south with temperatures around 9 or 10 degrees, but it will be turning colder from the northwest. Temperatures in Scotland just at 3 or 4 degrees are feeling really cold in that wind. So that low pressure is sitting to the north of the country as we go into Monday. Quite cold air wrapped around it and there'll be showers uh, rotating around that area of low pressure. So it's a case of showers or longer spells of rain on Monday uh, essentially. And many of the showers will be in the northwest. Probably not too many in the southeast. Although first thing in the morning we could bring some sort of a trough through across the country. That could just bam, bam the uh, showers together. Um, but basically it is a case of showers or longer spells of rain uh, for Monday. And those showers increase increasingly wintry, I think, uh, for Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England, initially over high ground, but eventually probably coming down to uh, lower levels. Feeling quite cold 
on Monday with that strong westerly wind and temperatures of just 5 or 6 degrees uh, for many. Although in myself we could still pop up to around 8 degrees but I think it is a colder day generally on Monday. And then on Tuesday about low pressure side to sink south was cross country and this is the trigger uh, for the developments later in the week. Um, but as the low pressure comes south the ice bars are actually opening out so the winds will be much lighter on Tuesday. Uh, it won't feel as cold although temperatures won't be much different somewhere around 2 to say uh, 7 degrees from north to south. And there's going to be more showers or longer spells of rain uh, with increasingly wintry conditions probably uh, for the north snow coming down to increasingly low levels uh, for Scotland and northeastern parts of England. As we get through to Wednesday, this is when the confidence in the forecast is falling. The low pressure is shifting away uh, to the south. Some sort of cold easterly wind setting in. But how cold, how extensive, very, very difficult to assess uh, for today. Uh, so I think the basic idea is that for Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, it's probably going to be mainly dry away from northeastern Scotland, where there could be some windy showers, but probably mainly dry in the north on Wednesday. For England and Wales, probably... <coughs> quite a showery uh, sort of day and some of those showers could turn increasingly wintry especially over the higher ground uh, through say uh, parts of the Midlands, uh, Wales uh, perhaps as well seeing those showers turning increasingly wintry through the course of Wednesday but I have to emphasise there's a huge amount of uncertainty about this forecast uh, for uh, Wednesday onwards. Temperatures on the cold side uh, between around 1 and 6 degrees. Now, as we move into Thursday, well, the latest run of the GFS model, which is this, wants to start to bring low pressure back in off the Atlantic. So that cold air is cut off within a, just a few hours. So after a frosty start on Thursday morning, if this is right, uh, we find a band of rain, sleet and snow moving in. Snow mainly over high ground, uh, mainly rain on lower levels. But look what this morning's UK Met Office model is showing uh, for Thursday. A bitterly cold easterly wind. Follow the ice bars back. They're going back to Russia. Uh, that will be bringing in increasingly heavy snow showers to eastern parts of the country. And temperatures, with bad if it was right, uh, will be well, well down. Well, probably quite close uh, to freezing. As we go through to Friday, the divergence continues. Vesper GFS wants to bring in a mild westerly, southwesterly flow and have it wet and windy. Whereas the... Uh, UK Met Office uh, wants to have us in an easterly wind there, still bitterly cold and still the risk of widespread snow showers in the east, temperatures probably barely above freezing if that was right. So it really is impossible I think uh, this morning to predict what's going to happen at the end of the week other than to say watch this space because we could get a really cold easterly blast, conversely we could have a mild westerly flow or Perhaps a blend between the two. We may uh, keep it quite cold into Thursday and then Friday try to turn it milder. And that would be my suspicion with how things will go. We'll have sort of a blend uh, between uh, the two outcomes and probably uh, perhaps bring a band of rain, sleet or snow through on Friday as the Atlantic tries to uh, move in. But that's just my guess with how it will play out. It's too early uh, to say. And there's no point looking at next weekend with uh, so much divergence from uh, the middle of the week onwards. Finally, have a look at the charts from the weather outlook. Here's the showery rain moving down from the northwest today. So most showers will be heavy, risk of hail and thunder. A really wet and windy day on Sunday. It's going to be a very, very unpleasant day. Risk of flooding in the prone areas and uh, gales, severe gales in the northwest as well. Technically mild in the south, but will feel cold in that wet and windy weather. Showers along the spells of rain rotating around the area of low pressure on Monday and uh, it will be turning colder so certainly the shower, particularly in the north, will be turning wintry. For Tuesday, more showers. Winds will be lighter as the low pressure sinks south across the country, so it won't feel as cold, but temperatures will be on the chilly side. Showers along the spells rain, basically, and turning increasingly wintry uh, in the north. For a Wednesday onwards, well, it's impossible really to say what's happening. Risk of uh, rain or uh, wintry showers across England and Wales, mainly dry, I think, further north. Um, and substantially colder probably in the north as well. Then for Thursday and Friday, this is showing mainly dry conditions, but very cold. Uh, but it is too early to say what's happening from that point onwards. So up to Wednesday, uh, we're on several showers, long spells of rain, turning colder from uh, Monday onwards, particularly unpleasant on Sunday, by the way, very wet and windy, but turning colder from Monday onwards with the showers turning wintry in the north. Uh, from Wednesday onwards, it's hard to say what's happening. Uh, it could turn very cold with an easterly wind. It could turn really quite mild 
uh, by Friday or we could have some sort of a blend of the two. I'll keep you posted as always. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.